Welcome to Texas A&M AgriLife Extension here in Hidalgo County. My name is Joanne and I am the Family and Community Health County Station Agent for the County of Hidalgo. Today we are in week number eight, Step Up, Scale Down. And for Walk Across Texas, we are in week number seven. Let's start off with a fun little quiz. Do you think true or false snacking is a bad thing? Definitely false. Snacking is a good thing. Snacking is used so we will not overindulge in our next meal. True or false, only people with diabetes need snacks. False, everyone needs snacks. Snacking is very important so we will not overindulge as well. We will get all our nutrients for that day. True or false, a shake made with low-fat frozen yogurt, low-fat milk, and strawberries is a good snack for someone trying to control his or her weight. True. This is a healthy snack to intake. In True or false? In general, Americans think of cookies, chips, and candy bars when they hear the word snack. That tends to be true. When we hear about snacks, we constantly think about those sweet treats. However, we can reshape the way we think about snacking by incorporating our fruits and our vegetables. True or false, boredom and temptation are a good reason to snack. False, definitely. When we are bored, we should not be eating. True or false, a glass of tomato juice can be a snack. True, it has good nutrients. True or false, it is a good idea to snack while watching TV. I would say false. However, you can make some healthy choices while watching TV, such as bringing a portion size of snacks such as strawberries or blueberries. That can be true or false, depending the way you bring in your snacks. True or false, healthy snacks can taste good. Definitely true. Healthy snacks are delicious. Step up to a healthy snacking. In this lesson, we're going to identify smart snacking strategies. We're going to identify food that are considered healthy snacks. We're also going to identify why fiber is important in a diet. And lastly, we're going to identify food that contains fiber. Why snack? The benefits of snacking. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about snacking and how it can be beneficial to weight loss and why and how to include fiber in your diet every day. Snacks are very important in our healthy diets. Eating small, healthy snacks between meals can help with weightless by keeping craving under control and prevent excessive hunger that can lead to overeating. Also, snacking can help fill your nutrition gaps. Sometimes we don't eat foods from all the food group during our main meals. Snacks can fill up the gaps and provide nutrients that a person might miss out on otherwise. Snacks should be thought of as a mini meal. Around 200 calories or less is an appropriate amount of a calorie for snacks. It is good to have snacks that have a good source of fiber. Dietary fiber helps your digestive system. There are two types of fiber. They're soluble and insoluble. The average American should aim about 25 to 35 grams of fiber each day. Make sure to increase your water intake when you're increasing your fiber. Now let's talk about soluble fiber. So soluble fibers are considered like oat bran or fruits or veggies, brown rice and nuts. This helps reduce your cholesterol. It can dissolve in water and creates a gel that improves digestion in a number of ways. Now insoluble, that comes from wheat bran and whole grain breads and whole grain breads, beans, and cereals. Insoluble fiber attracts water into your stool, making it softer and easier to pass with less strain on your bowel. Insoluble fibers can help promote bowel and health and regularity. Snacks give you the energy you need between meals and activities. Smart snacking. Snacks in your daily meals. Rather than consider snacking as an extra meal, choose snacks that contribute to your calorie and nutrient needs. For example, if you mainly eat meats and starches at your meals, snack on fruits and vegetables and milk, cheese, or yogurt. Matching snacks to your calorie needs and your weight goal. 
If your goal is to weight or maintain or lose weight, you may want to consume a snack between 100 to 200 calories. If you are physically active, person however person wanting to gain weight you may need to consume a calorie between 200 to 400 calories three watch your snack portions snacks shouldn't fill you up but rather help you not be hungry five snack consciously snacking absent-mindedly while doing other things leads to overeating six plan for smart snacking Keeping different nutrients ready to eat snacks on the other hand at home, work, or whenever you need a light bite to take the edge of off hunger. That way you will not be limited to snack from vending machines, fast food restaurants, or convenience stores. 7. Practice good timing. Eat snacks 2 or 3 hours before meal time. Crunching Snacks and now sometimes we need that crunch. Can you name a couple of crunchy snacks? Here are a couple. Have you ever tried making kale chips? Apples? Roasted nuts? Cucumber? Carrots? Trail mix? Popcorn? Snack peas? What about some sweet snacks? Instead of having the donuts, try to aim for apples, grapes, yogurts. Can you think of a salty snack? A trail mix, a sea salt popcorn, cheese, cottage cheese. Now we would love to hear your favorite snacks on the comments below. For more information on snacks recipes, you can visit our Dinner Tonight website. These are my favorite, the chocolate quinoa bites and the strawberry oatmeal cookie ball. Check it out. Now, walk across Texas. Let's talk about balance. Which are some common balanced exercises? You're probably thinking more in the yoga, Pilates area, just even lifting your leg. Balancing exercises is very important because it helps you prevent from falling, reduces the risk of lower extremity injuries such as knees and ankle injuries, and it also improves proportion perception, the ability to, the ability to know when you are in your space. Thank you for watching. 